A very short but sweet summary, Tails. Hey there, everybody. My name is Sparky. Your good friend. Yeah. And... Is that it? So we are here the at the bridge of the egg carrier. And if I am correct in assuming, we might be finishing up Tails' story this episode. Seems like it went by a little quick, but what can you do? So I'm pretty sure he only has one more stage after we're done on the egg carrier here. Dark and stormy night. And Amy is being assaulted by Dr. Eggman. He was using his grabby claw to grab a tiny bird. Who apparently had a Chaos Emerald. I mean, okay. Ever notice Dr. Eggman's mouth doesn't move in this game? This has textured on teeth. It's weird. Oh, looks like we gotta fight a robot. What else is new? Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we do have magical spinning top powers now. Just hold down the B button. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. I didn't even need a ring. I just spun around like a psychopath and down he went. Nothing can satisfy Tails' bloodlust. He helped me. Don't hurt him. Okay, if you say so. You have your reasons, I guess. Yep, something's going wrong. Hey, this ship is losing altitude. For some reason. So you say. It's kind of interesting to note that outside of this, Tails doesn't carry anyone around in this game. I guess since you don't really partner up with Sonic, you more just race him so he doesn't have a chance to uh, carry around his buddy. Like in Sonic 3 and such. Well, the ship exploded for some reason. So, there's that. <clears throat> yep. Sure blew up. But we have escaped exploding battleships and have brought Amy and her little bird friend back to Station Square. Oh, Eggman's not having the best day. Yes, he got out of the explosion too. That's Eggman. I wonder what happened to Sonic. I don't know, Tails. I'm finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway. Uh huh. You don't say. Well, it looks like Dr. Eggman just 
happened to have a missile offshore of Station Square that he honestly could have used any time. He didn't really need the, uh, giant magical water monster part of this plan. I mean, blowing up the city seems like just it would be just as easy. Though, not that it worked. Or Dr. Eggman. What? Him blowing up a door? I've got to get it before Eggman. The fate of Station Square depends on me. Oh, Sonic. I've changed a lot since I started hanging with Sonic. But I can't depend on him forever. I know I can do this by myself. You go, Fox Buddy. And here we are, heading right into action stage 5, Speed Highway. This is Tails' last stage of the game. This time, we're racing Dr. Eggman instead of Sonic. With the entire fate of the stations, uh, entire fate of Station Square on the line. Oops, I kinda screwed up there. I tried to be fancy, but Eggman's right in front of us, so... Go take our shortcuts. Yes. Okay. I will fully admit that this particular stage is probably a step up in difficulty from the Sonic races because Dr. Eggman can fly, just like us. So it's very important to. Try to take as many of the shortcuts as you can, because otherwise, you ain't beating him. Uh, Tails... Okay, Tails decided not just to jump, so... Bye. That was silly. Let's try this again. There we go, that's more like it. Hey, checkpoint. Perished right in front of a checkpoint, of course. Dr. Eggman, he don't follow the road like Sonic does. Oh shoot. I missed the road. Ah. That's okay, we were right here. I tried to be a little too fancy and skip the path, and I'm probably going to do it again. There we go. Alright, we can do this. We can beat the Eggman. I do recall, I think it's possible to... I don't know necessarily glitch, but you can end up getting to a part of this stage that Sonic goes to that Tails isn't supposed to. He's not meant to go to all the same places his uh, blue buddy does. There we go, speed shoes. That's more like it. But we're flying. Oh god, I missed the ring. I missed the ring. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is a close call. Can we do it? No! No! Tails, why didn't you jump? Ah. Came in too hot. I fell to my death and lost in midair. Ugh. 
I do not have a lot of lives, too. Why am I going right through that ring? There we go, okay. Got it! Simple and clean. Smooth as silk. Ugh. And there we go. We beat Eggman to the missile and completed Tails' last stage. Now all that's left is the final boss. Can't imagine Dr. Eggman's too happy with us. Just happened to have this hiding somewhere. You fool. Away. Before I make mincemeat out of you. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this. Yeah, let's go, little buddy. We gotta take down the egg walker. Honestly, this particular boss fight, I feel it's probably one of my favorites. And it's pretty simple. Just gotta pay attention to where the egg walker is, where it's walking, where it's jumping, where it drops bombs and missiles. Ow. And then you have to wait for it to do a stomping attack and hit its feet where it stomps. Big blue weak point. Very important. Once you do, you take out the legs, you knock it over, and you can uh, lay her on a hit. Jeez, this thing has a flamethrower too, I forgot about that. Seriously, this boss is kind of simple and stupid, but I like it a lot. <laughs> I guess my only complaint is that it is kind of tight quarters. Alright. Ow. Shoot. Ow, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I missed him. How'd I miss him? Oh, man. Okay, so... This really isn't too complex. You can just go right underneath him. I was avoiding his bombs. I thought he was going to start doing the stomping attack at some point. But I guess as long as you hide underneath him, he'll start stomping. And you got to hit the buttons or the weak point, whatever. All right. All right, simple enough. Get underneath him. Oh, he is mad now. Now he's stomping three feet. Alright, here we go. Why isn't it working? There we go, got him. And that's it. That's the end of Tails' story. We just beat his final boss. And beat him handily. Oh. Hey, I did it. Way to go, Tails. You're the best. Saved all these weird pointy people's lives. And off he goes into the night. Back to the Mystic Ruins, apparently. Here we are. There's Sonic reuniting with our best buddy. Man, 
beautiful little victory celebration. And the way Tails' t Tails mouth is moving here implies that he's singing his, his own theme song. In a beautiful, womanly voice. That doesn't match his normal voice at all. Ah. And there we go. Credits roll, and that is the end of Tails' story in Sonic Adventure. To be 100% perfectly honest, I forgot it would be so short. I expected this to go on at least a couple episodes worth longer, but I just... I completely spaced on how short his levels actually were. Once you get the hang of how Tails moves through the air and like the timing on when he runs out of steam when he's flying, the distance you can go, especially once you have the upgrade that you can get immediately as the game starts, uh, you can just tear through this really fast. I don't think I spent over two minutes on any stage. Though, to be honest, I really like this concept a lot. This the whole racing mechanic of it, it adds a little extra layer of challenge to just getting to the end of the stage like you usually would in a Sonic game. Although... I don't know if it would have been worth keeping. They did replace Tails' gameplay in Sonic Adventure 2. Because, well, they only have three types of gameplay in this game, so they had... in that game, I should say. So they had to drop something. Uh... Yeah. And Tails' theme song here... I like this song, but I like it better in Sonic Adventure 2. Just the overall general way it's performed. Like I said, this is a very womanly voice, because obviously it's a woman singing. And Tails is voiced by women, but I don't think he's voiced by a woman in this game. He's actually voiced by a young boy. So, it's doesn't really match up if it's supposed to be him singing. If it is him singing, well, kudos, he has a very beautiful voice. It's just a little odd, but, you know, it's all in good fun. Tails is a lot of fun to play as. I really do wish that his uh, stages went on a little longer. Like, he basically just has abridged versions of Sonic stages. Sonic is definitely... They, they go on a lot longer, they stretch on for a good few minutes. I guess it's good that they're shorter, because some, some of Sonic stages do get a little lengthy towards the end of the game. But not that short. I feel like if each stage was doubled in length, then it would feel like you would get more out of Tails' gameplay. Because, I mean, in the first episode alone, we tore through two of his stages. They both took us about a minute to finish. So, constructive criticism by for a game that came out, wow, 16 years ago? No, even longer than that. Almost 20 years, wow. No, not quite. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, this was 1998, it's 2017 when I'm recording this. So yeah, almost 20 years. And we've got a little finish. We did an emblem. We head back to the title screen. Let's we can skip past this. 
And... Hails completed 100%. Thank you very much for watching. If you still have character stories to watch, feel free to. But for now, I will see you another time. This is Sparky, signing off.